So we're out here on the farm. I came to check out my cabbages and some cabbage worms got into it. Um, I'm a little upset just because cabbages, this is the second time trying to grow cabbages and I thought I had it down. I thought, um, I thought nothing was gonna happen, but I guess it's inevitable for me. These, uh, these cabbage worms, these damn cabbage worms. But uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna do some um, wedding agent to him. Um, I'm hoping this will hopefully get some of them away. So I'm gonna give them a nice, nice spray on the leaves. And uh, yeah, it sucks. I mean, this is, this is something you, you don't wanna see when you come out to the farm, but... Um, kind of see that guy right there that cabbage worm man this sucks but we'll see um, we'll see tomorrow what they look like and if anything I mean the, these leaves are still edible so I can still eat the leaves um, I just won't have the heads which is cool I mean the leaves have just as much nutrition you know and uh, we can probably cook us something good with it so Natural farming, you know. I mean, you're gonna, we're gonna see, see what works, what doesn't work, and um, I could have been a little bit better on um, having some of these these uh, solutions ready. And uh, it's a learning curve, you know. It's it's a learning curve for me. And like I said, I'm here to show it all. I'm just showing you, hopefully, how to how to utilize natural farming to, to grow food successfully. And for me, it's a, it's a trial and error process. So if you can see me um, doing it here, maybe you don't have to do it on your specific farm. So um, we'll let that soak in. We'll check on the cabbages in about 24 hours. You saw the sprayer I was using. I, I didn't use that much JWA. I just did like a little boop pinch in there and um, you don't need a, well, I don't know, we'll see. But I didn't use a lot of it. And uh, hopefully, hopefully it works. I gotta plant some more food. Everything else is looking awesome though. It's just the cabbage, the cabbage worms. The damn cabbage worms. I think this is Daily Grow 5. I think I just, uh, I think we found our uh, Daily Grow 5 episode is using natural farming solutions. I just have to figure out for myself what, what's gonna work for me. So, all right, I'm done talking. Let's grow some more food. <laughs> We're gonna keep planting some vegetables. I'm gonna do a second round of the ones you saw me grow, the tomatoes, cucumbers, squash, zucchini, uh, more peppers, more okra. And um, I got them soaking in the seed soak solution right now. Um, I'm about to pot up these peppers that um, I use from the seed soak solution. The only ones that didn't really germinate during the seed soak solution was this variety, the Buena Mulata, <laughs> if I pronounced that right. Um, that's the only one that didn't really germinate during the seed soak and I don't know what happened, you know, but um, I got like three more seeds of these so hopefully I can grow this variety and if not I got the Korean dark peppers coming in and um, these are tomatoes from that first seed soak solution as well. Um, some are already out on the field um, that you saw in the video. And then, um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep keep it growing. You know, I'm gonna keep it growing. I'm gonna pot up these pepper plants and um, I'll show you out on the field in just a second um, the rest of the results from the seed soak solution. And um, we'll check in on the cabbages. I'll, uh, I'll show you what they look like right now and um, they're not looking good, I'll be honest. But um, it, it's all about experimenting. It's all about trying things out. This is the natural farming way.
So what I'm noticing here on the farm, especially between my summer crops like my tomatoes, cucumbers, zucchinis, squashes, all the ones that are getting ready to fruit, um, I'm going to take this into a what we call type 3 solution in natural farming and that is going to be your brown rice vinegar, you're going to have your oriental herbal nutrients, you're going to have your fermented plant juice and remember those three make up your maintenance solution in natural farming. So on top of the maintenance solution, we're going to add water-soluble calcium. I'm going to put a little bit of fish amino acid, not a lot, um, but let's go ahead and mix these up. I'm putting these solutions in a three-gallon sprayer. Let, let's go over the dilutions real quick. Oriental herbal nutrients, remember this is one to a thousand. So in three gallons, I'm going to put about 11 milliliters. Let's rinse that out real quick. So with brown rice vinegar and fermented plant juice, your dilution rate is going to be 1 to 500. So in the 3 gallons of water, I'm going to put 23 milliliters of brown rice vinegar. Rinse that out real quick. Alright, so fermented plant juice. Now this is a comfrey fermented plant juice that I'm using. Um, it should be in a breathable lid. I just put put it lock on it because I was traveling with it. So we'll do 23 milliliters of fermented plant juice. Now we have our three maintenance solutions in there. Now we're gonna add the water soluble calcium. Now this dilution is gonna be one to a thousand. So same thing as OHN. So we're only gonna put about um, 11 milliliters in here. Okay. So water soluble calcium is in and like I said I'm gonna add a very small amount of fish amino acid so fish amino acid I'm only gonna do like maybe just four milliliters so tiny bit in that one not a lot we'll just throw in a little bit in there we got all that in there we're gonna mix that up And uh, we're going to go ahead and feed our plants. But let me show you what they look like um, before I spray them, just so you kind of have an idea of um, why I put this magical concoction together. So um, let's check out the plants. Um, let me give you an update on the plants and see um, how they're doing so far. I haven't had any problems right now, um, other than the cabbages, obviously. Let's check it out. All right, so let me show you guys what the plants look like right now at this stage before I spray them. And um, I want to say most of them are doing pretty well. I haven't had any issues other than the cabbage worms, which we'll talk about that in a second. But um, let's go ahead and check out our plants. So here's the tomatoes. You can see they're, they're trying to get ready to fruit. We got four more down the line. And they're actually responding pretty well to the trellis system. I got my little carrots coming in as well. So they're germinating pretty good. All right, so here's the cucumber. Responding well to the trellis as well. Um, some of them are still growing. Um, yeah. All right, so here's my squash. It's looking good. Got one over here. All right, zucchinis. Oh yeah, looking good. All right, so these cucumbers, um, I just got them in there too. These are all the ones that you saw me in the seed soak solution. And um, yeah, responding pretty well to the trellis as well. Okra. Now these were my most surprising seed soak solution. Pretty much every single one of them germinated. It's my first time doing okra. Here's some peppers that you saw me in the previous video plant. Um, some of them are actually getting ready to form the fruit. Cool. And you got my beets. <laughs> Let me show you where I messed up on the earthway cedar. You can uh, see where I spilled a whole bunch of radishes. But I'm just going to let it go. I'm not even going to 
pull them out. I'm just, you know, you see beets and radishes right there. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. And then we got our radishes. Some of them are popping up. I got to pull some of these weeds out. So here's the cabbages. So the heads are still forming. Um, some of them are eating up pretty bad. So that's the rest of them. Uh, the back row is actually, they're, they're not bad. They're not fully eaten up. Um, so like I said, worst case scenario with the cabbages, I'll just harvest the leaves and eat them. Um, all I had right now is the JWA. So my pest management protocol right now, I guess, is I just been spraying that every day and picking off um, the cabbage worms that I've been seeing. I mean, it's the best thing I can do right now. Um, um, I've just been doing JWA. I know it's not the right protocol or the right way to do it, but it, it's the only thing I got out here. Um, and it is what it is, you know? So, all right, I gotta spray these plants down. I gotta feed them the good stuff. Let's do it. Look at that sun. It's always so beautiful out here. Feeding time. All right, so everything's gonna get sprayed here uh, with the type three. Well, I'm sorry, not everything's gonna get sprayed here. I'm gonna spray pretty much from my peppers over. Um, yeah, the tomatoes, the cucumbers, the zucchini, squashes, peppers, okra, they're all getting sprayed with the type three. Um, the beets, radishes, and um, carrots, I'm not gonna spray them with this type three, but I am gonna spray them with a maintenance solution, um, just the brown rice vinegar, um, oriental herbal nutrients and uh, fermented plant juice um, but everything else is going to be sprayed um, with the type 3 so our plants are nice and sprayed they're fed with some good natural farming nutrients um, so a little bit more into the natural farming practice, what I've been reminded of and what we've been taught in class is that when you're spraying these solutions, uh, make sure to do it in the evening time so that way it's not in the heat of the day so it allows the plants to kind of absorb the nutrients um, that we're feeding them and um, that way I like to do mine in the evening time uh, pretty much when that sun is down and uh, it gives them that time to um, take in and digest what we just fed them. So um, let me show you guys the greenhouse. Um, I meant to show you guys the progress in the greenhouse and what plants we got going on there. Oh man, farm's looking good right now. I'm so happy. All right, in the greenhouse, what we got, I'll try to do this before, what we got before the sun goes down, we got some broccoli microgreens, oh yeah. More sunflower microgreens. Pea shoots are slowly germinating. I think I took them out too late. But here's an update on the tomatoes from the seed soak solution. This is the second round of them. Got my pepper that I potted up. Ignore those broccoli microgreens. I messed up on the seeding on those. Um, some more peppers and then what you saw me, um, what you saw me plant in the, the previous clip. So got a lot of food going so there we have it a little update on the natural farm here and um, I'm excited I think uh, everything's looking pretty good right now other than the cabbage worms so if you have any advice on how to attack the brassicas attack the cabbage worms um, hit me up let me know in the comments um, I'm probably gonna be working on the JHS but like I said all I had was JWA for now Really, I can't tell a difference. I mean, I don't, it just looks the same. They just look eaten up, but I'm not gonna pull them out yet. And um, I haven't noticed any worms because I, I pulled most of them out, but oh well, you know, it happens. Nothing's perfect out here on the farm. Just showing you guys how I grow food the natural farming way. <laughs> Remember, I'm also here to experiment and see, um, see what works, see what natural farming does here and um, really be patient with it and just um, see the fruition of what it's going to be like this summer. So um, thank you guys for watching The Daily Grow. This is episode five. And um, let me know what you guys want to see. Um, for the most part, it's just, um, 
it's just feeding the plants now. It's keeping them in rotation, gonna keep on growing the summer crops. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see where it goes, do some more natural farming on here. I'm working on a, a, a little IMO series, um, so that's the indigenous microorganisms, because you know that, that's gonna be like your, the beauty of natural farming is introducing those um, indigenous microorganisms onto this farm. And I did do a IMO4 application um, in the springtime. It was like later in the February, you might have seen the IMO3 video. So I took that to IMO4. Um, and I did put that on the plot, which is why you didn't see me do any IMO action on here. But I am going to, I am working on a series, um, IMO 1 to 4, um, and just showing you guys how I, how, I, um, how I go about collecting the indigenous microorganisms. Um, it's a lot of fun, and uh, it's challenging. It's not easy um, by any means, but remember, the more you're going to do it, the better you're going to be at it. So you got to start somewhere, right? You got to start somewhere. So we're here to grow together. We're here to grow stronger together. This is John KNF. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.